So as you know, for this back area, I wanted some low relief buildings, factories, and I've been looking and looking and you can get some really nice ones, really expensive. Again, the resin ones, the Backman scene craft in particular. So I've been having a look around and I've ordered these which have arrived today. Now these are small MDF kits. Very plain as you can see. But you can see the size and the style. And they're actually, um, let me just show you. They're a scratch aid kit. So all these are is the bare carcass of the building. But what you can do then is, um, let me just show you that one. Sorry, I'm spinning it around. What you can do then is put your own finishes on. So it's like, um, just like I say, a carcass, and then you can cover it with, with whatever you want. Very reasonable. Uh, seven pound a piece I think I paid seven or eight pound maybe for the bigger one but there's obviously this low relief one with an archway through this one's just a smaller two-story one with the, the the centerpiece and then this is a three-story one with like the loading bays on each level um, so I'm going to look for some uh, sort of covering there's, there's some like textured papers you can get, um, brick brick styles, or I could just download some more off my uh, scale scenes catalogue that I've got. Quite a few different brick papers in there. I am thinking about maybe looking at some embossed paper, just to give a bit more texture. I don't know what it's like, um, but that's a possibility. And then it'll just be getting the accessories like the gutterings, the drain pipes, other bits like that. But I thought for the price, when you're probably looking at 40 or 45 pounds for a Backman scene craft, uh, ready, ready to go, low relief, then uh, they, these kind of uh, seem like a good deal. But time will tell. We'll have a go at putting these together and um, see what we think of them. Just thought I'd open one of these kits up. This is the low relief three story building. Um, all the parts, nice clear instructions, colour with photos, separate details for the windows, the doors and all the lintels. So gives you a good base really to put your own kind of finish and stamp on it. So I think I'll have a bit of fun making these. I did order from them some roof tiles as well. Um, which look pretty simple to fix, but time will tell. I keep saying time will tell. I wish I didn't. That's just a quick dry fit of the main components, just out of curiosity. Um, so they measure 50 mil deep, which is perfect to go right across the back here. That's approximately 135 mil wide. And then this one, highest points, 170 mil. So quite a nice building. And obviously there's pre-cut holes in the corners in the inside. So there's room for wiring, everything that you need. So I'll be able to get some lights in there as well. I'm going to try the smaller of the three warehouses first, which is this one. Um, I, I did mention about looking for some embossed textured paper. Um, I've had a little scoot around and can find some, but it's quite expensive actually. So I think for the first one, I've just been looking at what downloads I've already got from Scale Scenes. And I have got this, the aged red brick. So I think I'm going to try this one. And the good thing is with the kit, it, um, it'll fit. I'll get one piece, it'll be able to wrap the front and the side so there'll be no joins on there. So I'm going to test this one, see what it looks like, uh, and then look at a bit of variation for the bigger two when it gets to it. So the first thing I'll do is just tack these sheets up in that little cardboard spray booth. Spray them all with some matte lacquer just to try and help seal them so I don't damage them when I'm gluing them onto the, the carcass. Starting the assembly of this smaller warehouse first. So that's the back, the sides and the floors in place. 
my original plan was I would just get then get the front on and then wrap a sheet of this brick paper all around it. But I've decided that would be really difficult then to cut the windows out neatly and get the, the paper to fold. So what I'm gonna do is do the front separately, center it, glue this piece on first, leave the edges overhanging, but then from the inside, I can neatly cut round the windows to be able to fold the paper and then put it onto there and then just fold the excess paper around the sides just to, to finish off the brickwork. I've got the front glued onto this sheet of brick paper. Um, ironed it all on, well not ironed it on, but pressed it on as best as I could. I'm just waiting it down to dry. Um, while I am waiting for that glue to dry, I've just painted the interior of this low relief carcass just with some black paint. Uh, I'm not putting interiors in it with it being low relief. I don't even know if I'm going to put any lighting in it yet, but I just wanted to get rid of the wood colour. When the windows go on, I will, um, I'll spray, what I normally do with the Perspect windows is I spray the um, matte sealant and it just makes them kind of frosty and grimy so you can't really see detail inside and that's what I'll do with this building as well. Got the front glued on and the windows and the openings cut out and just glued on the back. I've just got the window frames to paint now before they go in. Uh, and then they should just sit nicely in there and I can get it attached to the rest of the carcass. They're quite good fun to build these. I've just painted the window frames there now in. The glazing's not on there yet. Don't know if that shows up very well. Obviously the brickwork looks pristine so it will need weathering. So I'm just uh, weighting them down now just on the back just to make sure they're set nicely. And I've just painted the doors up and the little uh, hoist cover. There's a roof to go on there yet. Once they're painted, I can get those on, get the front of the sides wrapped onto the carcass and think about uh, adding the weather in. Uh, I need to order some drain pipes and gutter in. Um, I don't know, it might be one of those. I think Will's kits do some. Um, so I'll have a look at those as well. Then I've got the other two kits to do, which are just the two story ones, but wider. So I'll do those in this, obviously the same. I'm just, might vary the brickwork a bit. I've got some others um, that I could use. I've got some dark red brick, which I might try on one of them and uh, brown for another. So we'll, uh, I'll have a play around, see which I think looks best on those two. So as you can see, I've been adding the, uh, the lintels and the, the sills across the front, they're, they're really thin MDF. They're painted khaki, a khaki grey just to contrast the brick. Um, so they're in place. What I didn't realise um, and some amendment tweaks I'm going to have to slightly do is I wrapped all the brick paper around the inner of these to get a really neat finish. I didn't realise these sills just sat, sat on the front. I thought this actually sat in, were cut into the window. Um, so it looks a bit odd because you've got the sill and then as you can see behind you've got the brick paperwork. Don't know if that comes out very clearly on there. Um, you can see, not much of an issue. All I'm going to have to do is get my fine, fine brush out and just try and touch up across there on all of these with some uh, of the khaki grey paint to try and make it blend. The only one that doesn't have a top lintel is that middle one here at the top because that is where this little uh, hoist cover is going to go. Other than that, we're nearly ready to finally get it fixed in place. The only difference with the other two buildings is because they're, they're not as high, but the wider one sheet isn't quite wide enough to be able to do it all, to do the front and wrap it round. So I'm going to have to have a join. So I think the easiest thing to do will be to do the front exact cut it and then when I do the sides bring them bring them round a couple of mils so they sit there or and then I'll put a drain pipe each side right over where the join is so it should disguise it then that might be the easiest thing to do with these that's the small one all assembled there's just the roof to do now 
uh, and then the little sh uh, cover for the hoist so the roof will go on I'll get the, the tiles on it's looking very pristine at the minute so obviously it does need weathering up just behind it I've started the second one slightly different shade of brick it's like a brown browner color that one um, but this one's nearly done I say there's gonna be no lighting in it no interior features just want it to go on that back wall Cutting out the roof tiles now for this one. That's one side done. Don't look too bad actually. It's quite therapeutic doing this. So half to go. Then there's just the little um, chute cover to go there. Then that one's pretty much done. I think I said earlier doing the roof was quite therapeutic. Uh, it was for probably 10 minutes. Uh, but then it's so tedious getting them lined up making sure they're square but they're on and I've got the ridge ridging tiles on now so you can see the roof texture the cover for the hoist is on so that's pretty much it complete all it needs now is some weathering I still haven't ordered any drain pipes well, I haven't found any yet to be fair um, but that one's pretty much done so I think it looks all right I quite like the brickwork um next thing now is get that one on the layout and i'll try and crack on and get the other one finished which as you can see next to it the main carcass is done slightly different color brick so as you can see with the second building because one sheet wasn't long enough to wrap right round I've had to do the side in patches and I've brought it round just five mil. I've coloured the edge with the brown felt tip, but the plan is I'm going to put gutter in down that side. And it's the same on the other side as well. Um, little two pieces of gutter in should hide that. It doesn't look too bad, but I think just by covering some with a bit of uh, down pipe, it'll uh, just help disguise it even better. So all that's left to do now is the roof for this one. Um, and then there's one more to do. So I have two buildings pretty much complete, apart from guttering, drain pipes and weathering. The third one, I've just put the uh, brick paper on the front. That's a dark red brick. They're probably not in the final position yet, but I just want to see what they look like along there. Uh, they look quite effective in my mind. I think in terms of would I use these again, to be honest, I think I would. I think they're really sturdy. I think the, the price, they were worked out at £8 each. Uh, I had all the papers already downloaded previously from Scale Scenes. So the only other expense I'm going to have is just some guttering and downpipes. So I think in terms of when you look at like the resin built ones, which are in your... 30s 40s 50s plus pounds or even the metcalfs are up a sort of 16 17 i think these are really good value i would use them again um, and they're, they're quite good fun to build to be fair